Hey guys, Mike the Bike here, back for yet another video. This time around we're trying out Rust again. However, this isn't experimental any longer, as the past few days have been sort of monumental for Rust, in that experimental has been moved to the um, like main branch, so you no longer have to like pick to play experimental, you just go ahead and play it right out of the gate. And the version that people played before is now called Legacy. And, yeah, it's sort of a big deal, and they said it in their Rust update thing, and I thought I'd give it another try. And instead of uh, skipping to where I already have gear and, and kit it out, I thought I'd show you what it's like to get gear and stuff in this new version. And, uh, obviously not everything is quite complete yet, uh, but a lot of the stuff is there. There's animals, like, if I go towards that bear, he'll attack me, and that's not a fun time. And then, like, you can build a base and upgrade to higher, like, qu quality, um, like, you can go to stone and stuff, and it's pretty magical. A lot of the stuff is there, and it's really exciting to see it coming along. So, I'm gonna gather up this woodpile and get moving and hopefully do all the usual things. Um, I'll try to show tips, I guess, on what to do, because it looked like a lot of people didn't know what to do in this version. So honestly, one big tip at, right out of the gate is you don't have to be looking for these wood piles. You could just gather from these, and they actually gather wood quicker than the wood piles. So I'm not sure if that's permanent. Something tells me it won't be permanent, but we'll have to wait and see. But anyways, I do have enough wood, or I already have quite a lot of wood, honestly, to get a hatchet. So you only need a hundred. I've got enough for like seven hatchets. But we also need metal fragments. So, and metal fragments require a furnace, obviously. So we're gonna go ahead and try to find some stones. So, as you can see, a lot of the stuff that you had to do in, Re in Legacy is still there. Here's a prime example of some stones, which we can get um, our stones from. We need a hundred, so... Once again, this is all usual stuff. Oh, there's a guy over there. Looks like he just spawned. Voice chat works now, which is fantastic, so I could actually talk to him and say hi. And See how he's doing. I don't know if we'll do that or not, but yeah, we'll get this going and get the stone hatchet and move from there. So while I'm here, uh, I decided to, or I'm going to see if I can kill one of these deers. Um, the AI for them is now implemented, so they actually run away, and the wolves look like he wants to kill me, actually, which is not a good sign. Oh god, please don't stalk me, please. I have that enough in real life, come on. Well, he's stu he's doing things. I'm gonna run away, but at least I'm not like dying immediately like usual. Looks like we got two people here. Oh god! Looks like we got like four people here. All right, one's actually pretty kitted too. I was trying to show you guys an example of like a base, and this one's actually like really upgraded. As you can see, he's got stone walls and stuff. I don't really know if I want to get too close to that. Oh my my hatchet is ready. I'll drop my rock. As you can see, we have a lovely stone hatchet now, with some very fine animations. Oh, some people might be wondering, like, okay, yeah, this is Rust, but where the heck are your friends, and where's, like, the raids and all that? Which people love, and I love it too. And that's sort of the only thing that is not, like, the legacy, is it's sort of difficult to team up with people. Obviously, it's not impossible, but... Oh, let's see. Oh, can I... Can we do this? Oh! Okay, well, that went actually really well. Sorry to do this, this is a little bit of animal cruelty, but mm, it's it's lovely. Okay, we got 36 cloth and all sorts of things. We got a wolf skull from that. Uh, yeah, whatever, we won't question that. So I've given my character some clothing so that he looks slightly decent. I went for the green t-shirt instead of the trousers or whatever, burlap. But... Yeah, all I'm doing at this point is gathering resources. I already have 8,000 wood, which something tells me they'll change those numbers. But I just noticed there appears to be something rather large over here. It seems to be a satellite dish. I'm fairly confident that's what it is. I think we're going to have to pay a visit. However, I'm a little bit worried because I think that people will be there. And I don't really want to confront anybody just yet. So I think what we're going to do instead is actually build our base. I know it's a little bit dark, so it's not the best time to do this, but actually maybe that is like the best time to do this. Yeah, I think... 
Oh. Oh God! What? Uh, oh, there's a bear. Uh, okay. Well, I have to make a bandage. I sure hope I can make a bandage. Uh, please, please, Gaben. Tell me I can make bandage. So I'm doing somewhat of a small tutorial here, just because I'm not really explaining what I'm doing. To get a base down, you need to get some wood, which, uh, you know, you just get a tree. And you need to make paper. And you get 100 wood and boom, you have paper. Pretty easy. Then from there, you want to build a building plan. And with that, which I'm just crafting now, you'll be able to build all the elements of a base. Or at least the initial ones. Hang on, let's see if this pig... Is he going to run or is he going to attack me? Because I don't know, is this like a boar or is this a pig? R.I.P. Okay. He's kind of like... He's a boar. Like, he has the teeth, but he runs. Anyway... Let's go ahead and show you that foundation thing. And as you can see, we can place down our foundation. That's the like first option they give you. But if you right click, you'll get all the options for everything else. So foundation steps, doorway, and so on. However, uh, the game is pretty right. You should do with the foundation first. So I have to find a place to build. I think actually this is a pretty nice like high. Ooh, and we're in between two biomes, the desert and I guess um, the forest biome. I don't need to build anything fantastic right now. This is my first base in experimental. Or, like it says it's experimental on the top right, actually. So I'm not like, is this experimental? Or is it regular? Like, we'll never know. Anyway, you also have to create this uh, hammer. And it's 100 wood. And that's what allows you to actually, like, punch things and get a base going. And as you can see, it sort of does its own thing. And boom, you have a little, little thing going. A little bit finicky, honestly, but it gets the job done. Obviously, this is really handy because if you misplace a uh, foundation, you don't have to lose all the resources that went into building, like, the full thing. You just lose, like, that little initial schematic. Oh, see, it like that. That was actually not on purpose. And then this sort of builds it. And it actually makes it, like, more social to place things because you got one guy placing on the plans, one or a couple people, like, hitting them. And it's actually a really cool setup that they've got going here. And I actually really enjoy it compared to the previous version. We'll go ahead and get our walls down. You guys have to let me know if you enjoy this style of video with sort of like a tutorial almost because I'm sort of taking a shot in, in the dark and in that I don't think a lot of people have fully played this yet. Okay, we got our walls there. Let's do a doorway. And let's go back to wall. And we should be golden. Oh, I think I hear somebody. Oh, I see somebody. This is not good. Hello. I see you out there. And the question is, is he just on his way or is he coming to attack me? I'm actually working on building a lock for my door right now. As that's kind of what you need to do to make your base secure. You can't just like place this down and it's only opening for you. You have to make a lock, which is actually a pretty cool feature, and it's pretty magical. Okay, so I have to get my furnace going. I just built this in order to get a furnace. Honestly, I don't need to explain the specifics. Um, you just go to click on one of these. There's the furnace. You need stones, wood, and low-grade fuel. Where's low-grade fuel? There you go. Animal fat and cloth, which you get from killing animals. It's fairly straightforward, and if you've played Rust before, I think you will not have an issue. Go ahead and place some of our resources into this fire to get it cooking. Then we just uh, press E and ignite, and boom, we've got that cooking. First thing I'm going to do is get a lock on this door because this is fairly insecure. So one thing that's kind of cool, while I'm waiting for this, you can actually upgrade your walls and stuff just by continuing on hitting it. And on the debug on the bottom left, like where the chat is actually, it'll tell you. So boom, this is level two now, and. It's a really neat feature in my opinion. It's pretty cheap to upgrade right now, so it's not too optimized or balanced, honestly, because it's that easy to do. But still, it's really cool to see that this is another feature that they're adding. So I'm going to upgrade all these actually while I'm here. Okay, so I've gotten enough metal fragments to make a lock. In order to actually get stuff from the furnace, you do have to turn it off, like I did here. Extinguish and then grab. And I'm actually going to let this cook some more while we're waiting. And we have this lock, and we could place it on this door soon enough. Uh-oh. 
Hey there. What are you up to, boy? Oh Christ! He may he may one up me. This is not a good sign. <laughs> well, I just died. So that's. He is just going ham, but uh, it's all good. So obviously that's a consequence of rust. That's just how rust goes. And now we've spawned. Oh, we spawned really close to one. Oh. I see a desert biome. I see this biome. I think that guy's just over here. So we could actually uh, get our gear back here. But I kind of want to check out that satellite. But yeah, that's just how Rust goes. You can lose gear very quickly. And honestly, I really want to get a couple friends to play this. But hang on. We're going to check out this satellite. We're going to see if the guy's still there. And I think we'll call it a day. Just approaching this satellite, and it looks really awesome. This, I'm going to assume, is a placeholder, but maybe they'll upgrade it, because I actually think it's pretty cool to have a satellite. I think this is sort of part... Oh, radiation. Oh, God. This is part of their idea that you'll find friends and people you're playing with based on landmarks. So you'll just try to f be in the same like biome, and then be like, okay, do you see a massive satellite? Um, but they can also replace these with things like towns or whatever, really. There's just, these could be replaced with basically anything. And right now, it happens to be a satellite. So I'm just approaching um, my previous house right now. We'll see if he actually kept building it or if he just ran off with the loots. Or if he's just like really weird and just destroyed my body. I actually don't know. Really? Did he, did he do this? He literally just destroyed, or I guess he just took my body and then left, which is okay. But anyways, guys, I think this is a pretty good sort of first dabble into Rust 2.0. I'm going to just stamp it with that name right now. I think it's looking pretty darn good. The only thing that I'm going to have slight problems with is finding friends, but it shouldn't take too long, honestly. But yeah, guys, I thought I'd show you Rust. I know I kind of showed you Experimental before, but this is sort of... More of the classic style. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think of the video. If you want me to continue this series, although I'm pretty sure you guys will want to. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a rating and all that good stuff. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.